Only six Ukrainian pilots have completed training to fly the F-16 fighters, which are due to be delivered to Ukraine in August. Overall, Ukraine will receive only one squadron of F-16s this year, about 20 fighters, which is much less than it had expected, the Telegraph writes. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky and the Ukrainian military have expressed frustration with the delivery of Western fighter jets, saying they are too little, too late. They have noted that when the F-16s finally arrive in Ukraine, they will not be the decisive factor they had hoped. One reason is that they will be deployed defensively, since Russia still controls the skies and has installed air defense systems along the front lines, putting the F-16s at risk. We won't fly fighters too close to the Russians because of the air defense threat, one Ukrainian official said. The publication noted that, for example, the Russian propaganda telegram channel Fighter Bomber, which specializes in aviation, has already rushed to state that with six pilots, Ukraine will only be able to deploy two fighters at a time, because a pilot cannot work around the clock. Two pilots are a maximum of 10 combat sorties per day in total. For all of Ukraine, 10 F-16 sorties are nothing, fighter bomber stated. For two years, Ukrainian authorities have been asking their Western allies for F-16 fighters to counter Russian dominance of the skies. A total of 80 F-16 fighters were promised to Ukraine by Denmark, the Netherlands, Norway, and Belgium. However, the matter of their delivery has been delayed for so long that they may become useless, although great hopes were previously placed on them. Some military experts even predicted that the use of these fighters could turn the tide of the war. Просто капец. Это где там? Походу это около своей работы, да? Мама говорит, что это может быть это. Он говорит, может быть, нефтебаза. Боже, деревня полевая. Вообще горит ужас. Что ты? Свести что-то. Вообще жесть. на камере блин непонятно там вообще огонь сильно может быть там это осколки все такое горящее попало но я не верю то что на это могу прям сам без пилотик попасть a rocket launched from Lebanon struck a football field in the Israeli annexed Golan Heights on Saturday, resulting in the deaths of 11 young people, Israel's army said. It described the incident as the deadliest attack on Israeli civilians since October 7. The Israeli army attributed the attack to the Iran-backed Lebanese militant group Hezbollah, stating that the group fired the rocket that killed the youngsters, aged between 10 and 20, in the town of Majdal Shams. The town has residents who have retained Syrian citizenship decades after the Golan Heights was occupied during the 1967 Arab-Israeli War. The rocket attack followed an Israeli airstrike that killed four Hezbollah members in southern Lebanon, prompting the Iran-backed group to launch a series of retaliatory rocket attacks on the Golan Heights and northern Israel. 
Military spokesperson Daniel Haggery reported on X social media platform that 11 youngsters lost their lives in the attack, with the emergency service Megan David Adam noting that 19 others were injured when the rocket struck Majdal Shams. Rear Admiral Haggery pledged retaliation in a video message. We will prepare for a response against Hezbollah, Hagar said, highlighting that the rocket attack was the deadliest on Israeli civilians since October 7, when Hamas militants attacked southern Israel, triggering the ongoing conflict in Gaza. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's office announced that he would return to Israel, as quickly as possible, from a trip to the United States, where he had met with President Joe Biden earlier in the week. Yeah, wait, no. <laughs>